Hello Stabbers, today I'm going to show you how to make this little coaster frame. I used our Snowburst stamp set to create this. First thing you want to do is get two 4x4 chipboard coasters like this. And then, I already did one side of the coaster up, but what, I'm going to show you how to decorate it. You're going to cut two pieces of designer series paper at 4x2 inches, and then you're going to cut another two pieces of designer series paper at four and two half inches. Then you're going to take the three sixteenths corner rounder and you're just going to round a couple of the, just the two bottom corners like that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other designer paper. Just going to do two sides only. And then you're going to take some snail and tape that down. We're just going to place that on the bottom down there. And then you're going to do the same thing with the top piece. Then to cover up the seam, what I did is I cut a piece of quarter inch Tempting Turquoise Grow Grain Ribbon. And you're just going to put a glue dot on each end. And then you just place this right over the top of it to hide the seam. Then the next thing I did was I cut two pieces of Whisper White cardstock at three and a half by three and a half. One is for my decorating and one is for my photo. And then what I did was I used the ticket punch and punched out the four corners. I stamped the snowflakes from the Snowburst stamp set in Tempting Turquoise, Garden Green, and Apricot Appeal. And then I came in with a two-way glue pen and the Dazzling Diamonds and added a little glitter to it. Then you're going to tape the back of this on. And just center it. And then to decorate mine, I cut another piece of cardstock, the garden green, and I stamped the snowflakes again in Versamark. And then I came in with the glue pen and the dazzling diamonds and added that on there. And then the next step I did was, I took the Merry Christmas out of the Snowburst set, I stamped it in Tempting Turquoise on Whisper White, I punched it out with our key tag punch, and then I added a button up here in the corner for the Fresh Favorites, and then I put dimensionals on the back because I wanted this to pop up. So I placed that in the center like that. So one side's done. Now the other side, I'm going to tape on my photo mat. Like that. Now the last part is to make the hinges. And what I did was I took a round tab punch and I punched out two in Tempting Turquoise. I then folded them over in half. And then on the other side, I applied sticky strip on each little tab. And the reason why I did sticky strip is this is going to be standing up on end, so you want to make sure it's nice and sturdy. And then you're going to flip this over. You're going to come in just a little ways down and line up the edges of the first tab. And then you're going to do the other one. You kind of want to work fast before the hinge falls back over so it doesn't stick to your paper. Then you're going to flip over. This one. And if you use our grid paper, you will line up the bottom edges of the coasters. So they're even with each other on one line. And this will help you get this perfectly centered straight. And then to hide all this, what I did was I cut two pieces of Tempting Turquoise at 4x4. Four four. I took the 3 sixteenths corner rounder and rounded all four edges. And then you're going to apply some 
this nail to the back of that and just come in and cover that right up. You want to do that to the other side. And there you go. You have your coaster frame. Makes a great gift. Thank you.